Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another uh, beer from Franconia, of course. Uh, first time that I'm having a beer from this brewery, it's from Brauerei Hennemann, Löwen Brauerei Hennemann, located in Stublang. And it's the uh, Untergärisch Vollbier with 5.1% alcohol content. Uh, big thanks to my friend uh, Thomas who did send to me, so could be a channel. That's very appreciated because I want to review one beer from each brewery on the channel. On each beer, uh, one beer from uh, each brewery in Franconia, Bavaria, and Baden-Württemberg. This one is making me t take one step closer to reach that goal. Uh, of course, the brewery is serving only from tap, so that's why he bought, uh, did bring his uh, one liter of flush flush to the brewery and got it filled up. I appreciate that very much. Let's open up the bottle like this. Smoke coming out, showing that's real fresh. Now let's uh, pour it up, which is gonna be really, uh, really nice in my opinion. I have high expectations on it, um, and uh, I always enjoy these Franconian beer style from from small breweries like this one. I've heard many good things about it, so the uh, the expectations is of course high. Um, I want to mention that there is. Uh, one other Franconian brewery with the name Hennemann, and that's located in Sambach or Sambach, I don't remember know how it's being pronounced uh, but I've been reviewing from that brewery of course before on the channel so and of course it's uh, also many many other, many other breweries in Franconia with uh, the name Um that's one of the most popular animals to call, to name your brewery with, uh, it seems like uh, Lang Brauerei, Löwen Brauerei and um, many uh, breweries is having, choosing names from animals for some reason, seems like. Um, now we have uh, much of it in the glass as you can see, looking very Franconian and very nice with a thick three finger white foam crown, looking perfect just the way it should be, a typical Franconian look of uh, a forbia that is um, this little bit darker in color comparing to uh, many other places in Germany where more pale bear, style, bear styles like uh, Pils, Helles, Weissbier and so on is popular in Franconia it's the little bit more dark forbias even though this is not a dongle of course this is a forbia which is not like an export or something, but it's uh, it's uh, untergerisch for real, uh, and I appreciate that very much. Uh, when I started my channel, I was al almost only knowing about the pale beer styles, but this is having much more rich taste. Not too strong, but it just has more tastes, and that's something that I like really, really much. So these uh, Franconian beer styles is. The best in my opinion like this one Hanuman Stublang brewery founded 1856 I'm really glad that they continue to brew because it's a brew that is not being so much known maybe you see all the small bubbles rising up looking perfect in my opinion and the thick white foam crown over the, above the edge of the glass just the way it should be so high expectations of this Brauerei Hanuman Stublang Löwen Brauerei Hanuman Stublang and the Untergerisch Vollbeer I think it's the only beer from this brewery with 5.1% alcohol content. Post. Yeah. It's of course fantastic in my opinion. Um, it's uh, it's so rich in taste, having many different. Um, different tastes just the way I want a Franconian uh, beer. This is a really, really good example of that. Fantastic one in my opinion. Really hope that you're gonna <coughs> do some research about this brewery because it's um, it really should be have more attention and it should be enjoyed by many so it can survive through this pandemic that it seems like we're not gonna uh, lose unfortunately but really fantastic in taste in my opinion. Um, so Hennemann uh, in Stublang is great, in my opinion.
Yeah. Of course, my um, my mission is uh, one of the, one of the purposes on the channel is to give attention to small breweries uh, so you can find them if you visit Franconia and support them so they can survive. Uh, that's what I want to do, even though I'm from Sweden. Uh, but thanks to my friends, I can get some beers here to <coughs> ship to Sweden. Here you can see also my friend has been uh, writing down the name Löwenboy, Henneman, Stublang, uh, Stublang, and Folbio Untergerisch with 5.1 person volume. <coughs> really, really fantastic one. Nice, nice brewery, in my opinion. Great. And um, he also um, did send me the beer decals. So you can see here the logo. Löwenbroi Hennemann Stublang. Real beautiful uh, logo, beautiful color combination with blue, orange and white. Looks real classical, here is the other one. So two ones and that's, that adds to the experience uh, while I enjoy this beer. <clears throat> he did the same with uh, the two other bottles that he did send to me lately that I'm missing, uh, that I was missing. That was uh, Martin Untonoises and Leicht from Phelpsfeldt. Um, also a quality sign of course that the foam is still very thick. As you can see, that's a, a big quality sign. Uh, building up a big foam head and um, yeah, still you see the very small bubbles rising up uh, to the foam. That's also a quality design, in my opinion. And just tastes so great, in my opinion, this one. Fantastic. So, um, <clears throat> it's uh, my recommendation that um, if you're in uh, Franconia, please visit Franconia, by the way. Fantastic uh, region with uh, almost 300 of these very, very small, very, very old um, family breweries, which means that it's one family is, who's owning it, in this case, uh, family Henneman, of course. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's being taken over from generation to generation, that's something that I like very much, staying in the family, and um, this is a really really nice beer, tasting fantastic. So, I think that's it for now regarding this review, hope you like my reviews, and see you again in next German beer review.